Hello, my name is Giondo. A while back I showcased a little uh, Raspberry Pi powered writing computer called the Rhydotron, made out of wood. Um, it got pretty popular and I sold a couple of them on my, on my Etsy store. So today I'm going to uh, showcase a new device that I made out of Raspberry Pi called the Game Otron. You can probably figure out what it does. This is a portable handheld retro game console powered by Raspberry Pi. And, and uh, the operating system is Recal Box, and it plays old um, emulations and ROMs of, of um, retro games. So let's get this guy turned on. Um, I've got some 3D printed buttons for this very first version that I made. Um, you can kind of hear how loud they are. But that's because this is my own version, and the buttons that um, that I originally came with, I actually threw them out because I thought I would be 3D printing them anyway. I do have another Gameotron made, and it has the original buttons from a Super Nintendo controller. So there's a recal box. Um, it's a little bit different than RetroPie. Uh, RetroPie will just uh, boot up, and you'll see that really ver verbose sort of um, Linux startup, and recal box just starts right into it. Uh, it is also a different system, uh, even though they both use Emulation Station, they do have some key differences. Um, you might notice that there's no sound, that's because uh, I don't have any internal sound, but I do have a headphone port on the bottom. So, let's connect this to my PC speakers. There we go, it's got some nice little background music on the uh, user interface. So let's go to... We could either go to the Game Boy Advance and select uh, one of my my favorite games, which are loaded right at the top. Sorry, when you uh, when you move too quickly on the user interface, not the game, of course. Um, sometimes it saves your keystrokes and and kind of deploys them later. So that's one particular issue that I'm working on. So uh, let's go with Metroid Zero Mission. There we go. And this particular version has got a, a bit of an issue with the B button, but there we go. There we go. So, because this is a um, an emulator player, I could just press start and load the game like normal, but I don't have any saves for some reason. Or, I can hit this hotkey here and the X button and load my state. There we go. It's kind of hard to play this game while there's a big camera tripod between uh, the Game of Tron and my face. That's why I kind of suck at it right now. I'm gonna die sooner rather than later. And it would also, let's see, behoove me to use the shoulder buttons. I spent all that time getting the dang things to work. May as well use them. And let's say you just do a particularly bad job and you die. Oh no! You can load your state like I did when I first started this game, or you can use, uh, Recal boxes rewind feature. Hold the hot key and left, and then you just go back in time. It's pretty cool. It even reverses the music. There we go. And we'll be right back to where we were before. We can just start over from where I had previously been playing.
And so this is just one version of the Game of Tron, the first one that I made. Uh, it's got a couple problems, but you know, the first one you make is always, always your favorite. So let's actually move on to the next one. I'm gonna hit start key, and uh, hot key and start, and then that exits whatever game you're playing. And then, oops. When you're out with the game menu way up here, then you can hit start and then just shut down system, or select and then shut down system. There we go. Now let's move on to the next game of Tron. This is the second version. You can already see a couple differences. The first one, in order to access the SD card for the Raspberry Pi, has got this gigantic uh, gaping shelf thing going on, which takes up a lot of room. Actually, let me fully turn this off. There we go. This one has just got a slot, so you can just you can access the SD card. It's in there. You can just you use like a butter knife or a screwdriver and just pop it in and out. Because this is a Raspberry Pi 2, so it's got the spring-loaded SD card slot. Um, other thing is... You can see this one has got the network card blocked off, and this one has got it free. There's also these three buttons on the top. Those three buttons are for adjusting the screen's brightness and contrast and sharpness. Which really helps, because this, uh, this is an LCD screen, but it's not actually a... Uh, HD screen, so you do have to adjust brightness and contrast and stuff like that. Um, each Game of Tron is powered by these, um, let's see, 18650, a pair of these 18650 uh, li lithium ion batteries. They're not removable, but they are rechargeable. There is the uh, USB port right there, uh, micro USB. So if you've got an Android phone or if you just have a charger for one of the many, many, many devices that use it. You can just use that. So, here we go. Here are um, the games that the Game of Tron actually comes with because um, this one, my red one, had my own personal games, the, the backups of the games that I own. This one has got freeware games that it starts with. So, games like Doom and, and um, another one that I really like is 2048, which is actually a puzzle game for the Nintendo. NES. As you can see, this is not nearly as loud. You can play it, and uh, you hit the buttons, and it doesn't deafen you with the little click, click, clack, clack. There you go. 2048. And then Binary Enthusiasts would love a game like this. You get to double numbers until you get to 2048. And you do it for fun, not even because you have to. And there you go. So let me actually exit out of here and let's play a little bit of Donkey Kong. So that is on a Super Nintendo. There you go. See, like if you if you use the keys too fast on the user interface, then it it's a little slow. So there we go. There's Donkey Kong. Let's get sound plugged in. You can change it from mono or stereo. cheating because I've played this game before, you see. Oop. Oop. So not very good, but I can rewind. A 
Have you ever wanted to know what Donkey Kong sounds like backwards? Now is your opportunity of finding out. Oh. Anyway, so there you go. That is the Game of Tron. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to get this thing at some kind of expo at some point. Gonna sell them on my Etsy store, and have a great rest of the day.